Hi guys. So, uh, previously I shared with you how I sold uh, my persona through Carly's bid. And uh, just a quick follow up on that. I delivered the car to them on a Friday. And by Monday, the money was already transferred into my bank account. So it was a relatively smooth, fuss-free uh, experience. Uh, overall, pretty happy with it. Now, today I am, I am, I find myself in this. This is a 2016 second-generation Ford S Max. Yeah. So I've always told myself that if I ever get to a point in life that I need seven seats in the household, the Ford S Max would top uh, my, consider my consideration. So let me first bring you through the whole decision-making process. What led me to this car from the Persona? Now, um, as I record this, my wife is due to give birth to our second child anytime now. And yeah, so my family, uh, I currently live together with my wife and my sister-in-law as well. So that's three adults in the household, uh, plus my daughter. So every time we go out, three adults, one kid. And after this, with the, when, once the second child comes into the picture, yeah, I'm gonna need something with that was that will fit three adults and two kids. Okay, so that's the decision was made then to upsize from the persona to a seven seater MPV. But <laughs> let me tell you a joke. After uh, shortly after taking delivery of this car, my sister in law's boyfriend proposed to her, and <laughs> and they're getting married next year. So why the S Max? Why of all the seven seaters out there, why the Ford S Max? Now, simply put, um, I've always admired the S Max for the blend of abilities it, it offers. I think um, there is no other seven seater out there. Uh, there's no other MPV or SUV out there that offers the kind of performance and driving dynamics that the S Max gives whilst actually being able to carry seven people on board. Okay, um, I tested the first gen, I remember testing the first generation S Max and I was absolutely blown away by what that car had to offer. Uh, in, remember, if you remember, the first gen S Max initially was uh, offered with the 203 PS EcoBoost engine, then they upped it. To the 240 PS uh, dual clutch transmission, zero to 100, what less than nine, 8.5 seconds thereabouts. So a very very fast MPV, and I rem and I recall being impressed not just with its straight line performance, but the fact that it actually handled that thing can actually tackle corners. So um, yeah, it was. And it did, and the suspension was so masterfully uh, set up that the handling prowess did not come at the cost of reduced comfort. Fantastic uh, dynamics. This second generation S Max, uh, it it's not as agile, nor is it as quick as the first gen model even though it shares the same engine why because this this second generation model it has bulked up uh it has an added emphasis on comfort but it still retains about 70 to 80 percent of the predecessor's uh handling capabilities and that is still plenty good enough to make it a more uh more sparkling and a seven seater to drive than anything else in the market okay so and i and i feel that you know as much as the first gen s max uh is the better car to drive right it's the it's the nicer car to drive this one here this is a more matured product and therefore its characteristics uh is is far more befitting of a family MPV 
while still being pretty nice to drive okay um yeah so i mean um is it the thing is that if uh, the other consideration was that i could yes i could on a budget have quite easily settled for say an avanza or a brv or a sienta uh, this would have been entirely adequate options if uh, you know if you're looking for something that's that's just to potter around town but because my wife uh my wife's hometown is malacca is from malacca so uh every year right minimum two or three times we'll be heading down to malacca as a family and yeah and i do and for that journey alone i do want something that uh that that would that will hold itself together a bit more convincingly on the highways you know an engine that pulls um, with less effort and also a chassis that uh, that would that has that high speed stability that would make the driving experience the the long distance driving experience a lot less tiresome so yeah so hence I arrived at in at the S-Max. Now, I had initially planned, okay, uh, to get an example of the first generation S-Max and those things are now going for damn cheap, right? I've seen, I'm seeing examples uh, on Muda and on Carlis going for nothing, I, nothing, nothing more than 55,000 ringgit and 55,000 ringgit is list price, you know. Chances are you can nego, nego, what to anywhere from thirty-five to fifty k, depending on the, uh, on the, on the example, on the, on the condition of the unit. So yeah, at that time I was thinking, hmm, you know, I can trade in the persona, I can sell the persona, uh, and move on to a second gen, uh, to a first gen S Max, right? Either paying the whole thing by cash or. Uh, taking a very very small loan all right service it maybe two or three hundred bucks a month for a couple of years and that's it done but uh at the same time my wife also wanted something a bit newer so i just called my friends in sim w auto connection and asked hey do you guys have a second generation s max to deflete from your demo fleet or customer train or whatever right and to my surprise they actually had one and well they offered it to me at a price that that absolutely that I, I was absolutely blown away by they made me an offer I cannot refuse so to put it simply right this car was worth 240,000 ringgit brand new um, it had 30,000 on the clock on the odometer manufactured 2016 registered to January 2018 so I still have more than a year of its three-year factory warranty I still have more than a year of its three-year free service program uh, this car still has a two-year extended warranty program provided by Sime W Auto Connection that it that will activate once the factory warranty lapses okay so yeah so um so when i looked at this car it had this so so this car came with a free service package that you uh, you are entitled to six free services three was already used up this was actually uh, this this car uh belonged to the ford branch in juru okay this was the, the demo car that they're defleeting from that branch so uh it was maintained by the juru branch and so after so it was what so they had they service they used up three of the free services and yeah so i had another three free services left when i bought the car uh well i i immediately used up one of them within two weeks of collecting the car after realizing that you know it's about six months since the previous service so i had to send it in uh used up that one service now then um yeah so i i was it was i was made aware that there was a, a, there was an issue with the steering rack which is a surprise because the first gen s max with the electro hydraulic power steering that was known to have steering rack issues this one 
with a fully electric setup, I'm surprised. Okay, but still, uh, the steering rack was replaced under warranty. Uh, no, no issues there. And the tires were worn out, were shot. So uh, the dealership offered to to change a pair of tires for me. Then I just topped up money to change the other two. Fair enough. So the overall cost of buying this, this car was brand new, two hundred forty thousand. The overall cost of me, you know, all all included, it was closer to one hundred thousand than it is to one hundred twenty thousand ringgit. Yeah. So it was in all in all honesty, this car was beyond my budget, but the deal that was offered was literally was too good to refuse. Here I am with a Ford S Max and. Uh, Stay tuned, there will be a separate video or maybe a separate series of videos coming up uh, where I will take you, I'll show you guys around this car inside out. Uh, as I record this, I've actually taken delivery of this car for about a month now. So uh, I've picked up, I've learned quite a few things about this car that, uh, yeah, that even, even after reviewing it a couple of times before, I uh, never knew how that they had this feature here in the first place. So yeah, stay tuned for more.